Well, this lovely machine was bought in 2016. It's been modified a little bit since then. It's carried me since September 2016 a few miles. And I don't know if you can read that. That reads straight 46,000 miles. 46,000 miles, the only unexpected mechanical part I have had break. And I won't even say break, it just needed attention. Was the sealed bearing on the front wheels. Front axle bearings, yeah, that, uh, that was $7. And my local shop said, don't worry about the bill. We got you, so there wasn't even a labor fee on that. So, seven dollars maintenance, unexpected, and forty-six thousand miles. The G721 tires that were on originally, in the front, were good. So, I got seventeen thousand miles out of that. I put on a Metzler ME888. I got good mileage out of that. I am on my third front tire. It is now a Michelin Commander Two. The G721s on the rear were unbelievably worthless. I didn't even get 7,000 miles. And instead of getting cruiser mileage, I got sports bike mileage, and not even really good sports bike tire mileage. So I don't know why the 721s work on the front. They didn't work on the rear. So I want the Messler ME888. I am on the fourth rear tire. I've used two ME888s, one I got 15,000 out of, 14,000 of which was probably safe because I didn't realize I had some white tread showing which is why I changed it The next one sat on the shelf for a while because that was uh, in one of those podunk places It was probably four years old when I bought it and it didn't last very long barely ten. I have a Michelin uh, Commander 2 on the back as well It is a 185 180 65 16 and that is still looking strong as you can see I've got quite a few miles on that. I can lean it over a pretty decent way. And the tread depth is still nice and thick on the front. Although my complaint initially on the front was it was a little loud. I don't know, maybe just a harder compound how it touches the road. It was a little bit loud. That extra sound has gone away over time. So tires hold good in the wet. They hold good in the cold. I can get, uh, I can lean it over pretty far too. The bike will actually take it more than I will. The machine will absolutely hold line. However, it makes a sound and that sound takes years off this old man's heart. So I, I try not to do it that often. So, and two more thousand miles. We will be talking about what would have been the third valve clearance check. I don't bother with it yet. It's not leaking. There is no loss of power. There is no loss of fuel economy. There is no loss of responsiveness. You touch on that throttle, it rockets you forward. And at the moment, there is absolutely nothing on the gaskets leaking. And in order to check the valve clearance, you would have to disassemble a fairly good part of the motor. And that creates the possibility of another leak. I do have one addition here from an 84 Honda Magna. The uh, only part I had left from my uh, motorcycle, and I really loved that bike, so I threw it on here. Although I do have one of those 150 decibel train air horns, and I will probably mount that on the right hand side as well. And I may even see can I fit two in here. If I can fit two in here, then I'll run a double train horn and I'll wire it right to the switch. Still working on how to do that wiring, but I'll talk to you guys later.